Okay, good morning. So I just thought that today I would give a little insight into like a normal day in the life um, on prep. Obviously, I'm coming towards the end of prep. Um, but uh, I know a lot of people are interested in kind of just what goes on in a normal day. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, it's now eight o'clock. Uh, I've been up for a couple of hours. So we are going to rewind um, and I'm going to show you how I start my day, where I go from there and then what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. So hopefully it's uh, somewhat informative and enjoyable. And uh, yeah, for me, it's very boring because I've been doing this for 16 plus weeks. Um, but it's good to document it. So here we go. So consistency is key. And all the way through prep, one of the things that has made this prep the best so far is the fact that I've been religiously consistent in all aspects. So waking up at 6 a.m. every day, um, getting my cardio done every day, first thing. Um, and then something that I've done this prep, which I haven't in the past, is um, performing this vacuum. Now, I'm not intending to do a vacuum on stage. I'm not a classic competitor. I don't have the ability. However, it certainly helped me control my waistline and control my my stomach while on stage which has made a massive difference to kind of the quality of my posing which is the reason i brought that in a little bit of posing after this was just for the camera i do actually do posing practice as well in the morning um, but i normally do that after the ab work um, that's coming up now so i fast forwarded this next bit because um it's just boring but i wanted to show anyway um what I do is really basic. After my cardio, I do 25 sit-ups, I do 20 leg raises, um, and I'll repeat that three times. Um, nice and simple, but every day, again, it just helps me, you know, I'm not, gonna, you're not, I'm not expecting to spot reduce body fat, um, but it helps me tighten up my midsection, have greater midsection control. And as a bigger guy, um, having the illusion of a tighter waist just makes everything else look that much better that much more freaky so yeah that is the morning routine so after breakfast i sit down for a couple of hours here at my desk um, and i get back to all my lovely clients so i've got my just little setup there laptop everything I need at my disposal to, um, yeah, get other people progressing and moving forward with their goals. So yeah, absolutely love my job, super kind of fortunate to be in this position. Um, like I said, a couple of hours work now, then I'll have my pre-training meal, get ready to train, and then I'll do the rest of my check-ins later on this afternoon. Okay, so it is coming up to 10 to 11. I know you can't see my face, I'm too tall. Um, had my pre-workout meal about 45 minutes ago. I'm just gonna make my uh, pre-workout, intra-workout, post-workout drinks now. I'll show you what I put in there. And then I'll head off to the gym and I'll start training roughly around half 11. So here we go. So first up I have my pre-workout. And for that, it's nice and simple. I use Stimulmax Black from Strom. I'm sponsored by Strom. Use a lot of their, well, in fact, I think I use all of their products, which is extremely useful. So one scoop in there, which is one serving's 12 grams. So I'll just top that up. There we go. Uh, so that's that, simple and sorted. Next up. Do my intra workout again, nice and simple. Carbamax intra workout carbs, one serving, 30 gram serving, 25 grams of carbs in there. I'm very particular about getting it bang on, and as soon as I said that, I went over. There we go, 30 grams. So that's that. Also in with that, I have a Central Max. Again, one scoop, which is about 20 grams. That's a bit less than a scoop. I'm running low. 
There we go. And then finally, one scoop of the Creamax, which is the creatine product, which I think is a eight, a six, six gram serving scoop. There we go. So that is my intra workout. Sorted. Flavours in there are lovely as well. We've got lime carbon max, uh, strawberry kiwi, essential max, and then the yeah strawberry kiwi cream max. The taste sensation. So post workout, we keep it nice and simple. And just use some generic whey isolate. I have 40 grams of that. And then I have a poultry serving of the Targo, 20 grams in there. And what I do with this is I'll have that about kind of 10 minutes after training, um, and uh, and then I'll I'll drive home and have my meal about 45 to an hour after that. I also have some taurine in there post-workout to kind of bring you back down and I also have some glutamine. So that is the pre, intra, post, sorted. That'll do, I've just been trying to find somewhere to rest my phone because my hands are shaking. <laughs> pre-workout kicked in. Um, so I just got to the gym. Uh, I'm training at Premier Gym today. I train at three different gyms. I train at Premier um, in Colville, Dynamite Gym in Loughborough, and Ilkeston um, Gym and Fitness in Ilkeston. Um, so yeah, today is Friday. Today is chest and triceps, and today is Premier. So we're gonna go in. I might film a little bit, but this, is, this video isn't about the whole kind of training side of things. Um, when I'm more off season and things are more kind of worth worth watching, I'll do more training footage. Um, but I might get a clip or two and uh, yeah, just have a good, good session here and then back home. So let's get in. So I said I wasn't gonna really make this video about the training and I've not, but I just wanted to show a few exercises. As I said in the car, um, the session today was chest and triceps. So the videos you've got coming here, are just three of my kind of heavier compound movements. Obviously heavy um, is, is a kind of speculative word right now, given the stage of prep I'm at, but I still don't want to kind of faff about. I still want to work. Obviously there's a massive emphasis on control, uh, particularly on the negative really feeling every rep, but still pushing kind of hard and, and not being scared of, of pushing quite hard to the limit. I could definitely go heavier, um, but the recovery capabilities aren't there at this moment. So it's about working with my ability and, and what I've got available to me. So um, low incline dumbbell press here, again, keeping control of the dumbbells, initiating through the chest um, and just making sure that again, that last rep um, was a bit of a kind of grinder. Then just finishing off on my um, tricep kind of compound movement, the hammer strength dip machine, which is a new machine at uh, our Premier Gym, which I really like actually. Got a really good contraction here as well. And while loading it, again, same principle, lock in, control. Um, and I pushed kind of, again, pretty much maybe one rep left in the tank, um, but making the sets all count. The rest of the session was very much kind of uh, isolation with a little bit more volume uh, for pump work. And then as ever, I finished my sessions off with some posing. I've not shown the full routine here. You've seen enough of me posing in recent videos. Um, but again, really happy with how I look today. Um, my body weight is back down to where it was before the Malibu Universe. So I'm in a good place. Um, and, and the week out from, from the Europeans, um, I couldn't be happier. So all in all, positive um, and always good to just kind of check where I'm at and uh, get some good practice in. Okay, so back for training, I had my post-workout meal. It's now just before three. I'm gonna uh, crack on with my check-ins, move to the sofa, a little bit comfier. Um, 
but I'm just trying to make sure I stay awake. So yeah, for the rest of the day, it's just check-ins, a little bit more cardio later, and another three more meals. So I'll document all that, but um, yeah, pretty boring, pretty standard, but ticking the boxes, and that's what we do. Prep life. So that's meal number five done. And now um, I've had a shower, wash my hair, very fancy. Um, and now I'm gonna chill. So on the sofa, I'm gonna watch uh, Captain America Winter Soldier and probably piss about on my laptop a bit as well because I've got the attention span of a tadpole. And then I've got one more meal um, or a shake before bed that's the day done. So yeah, all my work done. So now I can just chill out for a bit, which is nice. Okay, so that is a wrap. That is a day in prep. Um, obviously I am tomorrow, a week out from my final show. Um, the Maver Europeans in Italy. I'll be in Italy this time next week. Um, but today is a pretty fair representation of certainly the past six weeks, very much exactly. Um, obviously, uh, I've been on prep for 16 plus weeks and it hasn't been exactly like this from the start. Um, but the structure, the routine, it has. Uh, you know, the food was higher at the beginning, the cardio was less. But the, the routine was certainly the same and it has been throughout. And like I said, that's been a big part on why this has been such a successful and dare I say, easier prep. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, it's just what I do. It's, I don't really think anything of it, but um, it's been quite fun to document it on here as ever. Um, hopefully you liked um, like the content. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment. Um, at some point, I'd like to do a sort of Q&A. So if anyone ever has any questions they want to put in the comments of my videos, I'll, um, I'll save them and I'll do like a video one time of, of all of them. Um, so yeah, something to think about if, if it would be interesting to people. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to sign out now. It is just gone 10 o'clock and um, I'm very ready for bed. And for any bodybuilders who struggle with sleep on prep or at all, read in bed. My advice, Harry Potter, it's the best. Um, but no, in all honesty, if you read a fictional book in bed, it will send you out. Um, so that is my Viking number one piece of sleep advice. But um, again, thank you for everyone who watched and I will see you all soon.